If you will take a second to pause the video and read the question uh, so that you know what is going on. Uh, what it says is a Ferris wheel has a diameter of 40 feet and makes one revolution every 12 minutes. This sentence right here, one revolution every 12 minutes, tells you that the period of this graph, or the time it takes to complete one cycle, okay, is 12 minutes. Okay, the center of the ferris wheel is 25 feet off of the ground. So what these two pieces of information tell us is uh, part of the picture. Okay, so if you turn it over and draw a picture of a ferris wheel. Okay, there's the ferris wheel. And the ferris wheel is going to be off the ground a little bit. Okay, so there's the ground. Now, what it said is it said the diameter of the ferris wheel was 40 feet. Okay, and what that means is that means that the radius of the ferris wheel is equal to 20 feet. So from here to here, okay, is 20 feet because the diameter of the ferris wheel is 40. Okay, but it also said that the center of the ferris wheel to the ground, okay, was... 25 feet off the ground. So the center of the ferris wheel is 25 feet off the ground and the radius is 20. So since this distance is 25, okay, and this distance is 20, this distance has to be 5 feet. Now, we need to make a table of values, okay, and we're going to figure it out, we'll say t, okay, when the time is 0 minutes, okay, and since the period is 12 minutes, we have to figure out after 12 minutes how far it is. And just like when we write it, or when we graph equations, we take the period and we divide it up into 12 equal segments. So one fourth of the period is going to be 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So that's going to be one quarter. That's going to be the amount of time that it takes for the person to go from here to here, okay? So at zero, when time is zero, that's like the person just steps on the ferris wheel and they're waiting to go. They are five feet off the ground, this distance right here. Three minutes later, or one quarter of the period later, they are now at the center of the ferris wheel, which we know from the problem is 25 feet off the ground. At half of the period, which is from the bottom, all the way up to the maximum height. Okay, that's 12 times 1 half, which is going to equal 6. Okay, so at 6 minutes, this person, we need to figure out how high off the ground they are. Well, we have 20 feet plus 20 feet because the radius or the diameter is 40 plus the 5. So 20 plus 20 plus 5 is 45 feet. Okay, or the diameter plus the 5 feet. Then we need to figure out how high they are at 3 fourths, so they've gone almost all the way around. Okay, and that's 9. There's a lot of different ways you could figure it out. It takes 9 minutes to get back around here. Okay, and they're at the center of the Ferris wheel again. And like before, that's 25 feet off of the ground. And then 12 minutes. 12 minutes after they started, they're back at the beginning, and, I'm sorry, not zero, they are five feet off the ground. Okay, so we're going to use these tables, okay, this table of values here, to graph on this grid. Okay, whenever you graph something, it says to graph two revolutions of the Ferris wheel. We know that the y-axis is height uh, in feet. And we know that the x-axis is time in minutes. Okay, and since it's uh, 12 minutes for one period and we want to graph two revolutions, we're going to have to get up to 24. So I'm just going to say that this is 2, 4, 6. Fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 
22 and 24. We probably could have gone by threes and that might have been a little bit better, uh, but this will be okay. Now, the maximum height, if you remember from the table, the maximum height is 45. So we need to go up to about 50 so that we can get everything on the grid. So if I count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, that's gonna be pretty good. So now we just use that same table of values, okay? And I'm gonna do two at a time. At zero, it's five feet, okay? So at zero minutes, we're at five feet. At three minutes, we are at 25. So zero and five. At three minutes, it was 25 feet off of the ground. If I look back, okay, at six minutes, it's 45 feet off the ground and at nine is 25. So six and 45, nine and 25. And then once I get back to 12, I'm back to five feet again. Now, since we want to graph it for two, this is gonna be like the person goes around again. Three minutes later, they're 25 feet off the ground. Six minutes after the initial period is over or at uh, Eighteen, then we're gonna be at forty-five. Okay, three minutes later, we're here. And three minutes later, or twenty-four minutes after they initially started, this is the graph that we have. Okay, so when you graph these questions, make sure that you have a consistent scale. Okay, and make sure that you label the x and the y axes based on whatever the variables are. Okay, to write the equation, it's the same as writing equations from before. Okay, you find A is equal to the maximum minus the minimum divided by two. B is equal to two pi divided by the period. And D is equal to the maximum plus the minimum divided by two just like before. So the next video is going to walk us through this question. Uh, so, but go ahead and try to figure it out based on what you know from the other, the other kinds of uh, equations that we've written.